Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Mass Effect 2 here on the Game Professor channel. I'm your host, the Game Professor. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Well, we got a new message, so I guess I'll check that. But then we're gonna go down and talk to Samara. Just as a little debrief from what we went through last episode. So a pleasure to meet you. Admiral Daro Zen Vasmore. Shepherd Vas Normandy. I've been digging through the Alari. Just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments of Rael Zora, uh, from the experience Rael Zora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity would have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Quarian people reclaim not just our home world, uh, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Rael Zora's death will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started. Cordially, Admiral Darozen Vasmore. So, that's, oh. I don't know when that went out. Shoot, I hope that that wasn't out at the end of the last episode. Well, that's annoying. Sorry about that, everybody. Um, luckily, I tend to have, I think, I think it's my camera's microphone that ends up picking stuff up when I'm not, uh, when this one manages to unplug itself. So hopefully that just happened there at the beginning of this one probably would have happened between episodes now that I think about it because I didn't touch the mic at all during that opening bit or during that ending bit but let's uh oh wrong one yeah yeah let's let's talk to Kasumi as well she usually has something interesting to say hey Shepard my heart goes out to Miranda and her sister that's a rough situation it is it must have been really hard for Samara to ask you to help kill her own daughter she told me she really appreciated your help. As hardcore as she is, I'm not sure she could have done it without you. I'm really glad you got Tally out of trouble with the migrant fleet. It's hard to see her upset. Kasumi is one of the purest characters in this entire series, and I love her. Come back later. I'm sure I'll have more to talk about. Absolutely love her. She is a gem in every way, shape, and form. Let's talk to Samara about last episode. Morinth haunted my dreams and waking hours equally. For mm. the first time in 400 years, I am free. I am a ruined vessel of sorrow and regret, but I am free. It is not a feeling I can describe. I can only imagine. Or actually, no, I can't even imagine. Was it worth it? It was never a question of worth. But of need. I had to take the action I did, as did she. This mm. was never a story that would have a happy outcome. Such a bleak outlook. You said that Morinth was a monster, but she was still your daughter. She was the strongest and smartest. She would not accept the injustice thrust upon her. She fought to the end. I am so proud of her, Shepard. It's not hypocritical. It's I I understand why it could be seen as hypocritical, but I do not believe that it is hypocritical for Samara to recognize the monster that Morinth had become and also admire her ability to fight for herself. You did your duty. What about your feelings? One of my daughters is dead. My hopes, my dreams were all bound up in my children. Mm -hmm. Still my that is why I've always come after my duty. The same is true of you. True. That is not an inaccurate statement. But yeah, that's ultimately why it makes sense that she would be proud of the fact that Morinth would fight. What will you do now that Morinth is gone? Assuming I survive your mission, I am a just a car. Injustice still exists, and perhaps even other Ardat Yakshi. 
Um, how rare is it? I thought R. Yakshi were extremely rare. Asari have spread to many worlds. There are remote regions with no government oversight. If I travel to those worlds and they do exist, I will find them. Okay. There's no way to correct the condition, Morantad? We are an advanced species, but we don't have magic. When the trait manifests at maturity, it is too late for mitigation. It hmm. only occurs in purebloods like myself. Perhaps that is the root of the stigma regarding Asari exclusive pairings. I don't know. Hmm. Morinth claimed that her condition was the future of the Asari race. Morinth would say anything that served her cause. Ardat Yakshi are sterile, Shepard. That wouldn't be a particularly viable future for my people. Yeah, very, very true. You don't want to settle down? I did. I returned to my homeworld and tried to start a family. I will fight and struggle all my life. That is my fate. When I die, it will not be in bed. I am at peace with that. Yeah. I will... I understand her being so fatalistic. I should go. Of course, Commander. Thank you again. She's a fascinating character. She is absolutely one of my favorite characters in this series. But now we have a bit more to do. I have a lot a bit more to do before we go for the IFF. I want to take a look and see what we have in terms of side quests. Because so I've definitely been neglecting the side quests in this playthrough. I know that. Um, let me see here. So we have the packages for Ish, Forged IDs, Krogan Sushi, still have the Arrival DLC. That one that we just did in um, the uh, Legendary Edition, Project Overlord, the Ceres Ice Brandy. Let me just look here. Yeah, I did not do Firewalker in this. And I don't have it, so... That might have been one of the DLCs that was corrupted when I was transferring files around. But we still have a lot of loyalty. So we have Thanes, Grunts, Mordens, Jax, and Jacobs. I think what we're going to do... I'm still going to hold off on Overlord. I want to leave that closer to the end. Um, same with um, Arrival. I, I'm going to do two different versions of Arrival between the two playthroughs. One I'm going to do before we go to the final mission and then one after we go to the final mission uh, so definitely have a lot to do still let's take a look at where we are though where everything is see what we can figure out so we have a platinum rich planet there well, actually, you know what? Just because I know that it, I need to actually do that still. So, things all over the place. So, help Jack over there. The Rosetta Nebula is where we help Jacob. We have Thane and Grunt and Morden over there. So I'm going to start off going to the Shadow Broker base just to um, go double check if we have anything that completed there in terms of the um, various uh, things we funded. I'm trying to be good about remembering to do this since I made the point of doing Lair of the Shadow Broker so early. I usually leave it to so late in the game that I never really do much with the base. <laughs> so I'm trying to make sure I do that this time. Um, 
Why did I do that? I, I, I want to land. I didn't need to scan it. <laughs> that was weird. Ah, I'm a dingus. I'm a dingus. I think what we'll end up doing after this, I think we'll go to Tachanka so that we can take care of both Morden and um, Grunt's loyalties in one go. I need to check on my fish. I'm going to have a bunch of dead fish again. Dang it. I'm... This is why they include and they added an auto feeder in Mass Effect 3. Sweet. Platinum. I love it. I love the platinum. Uh that's the shutter control survey information. I forget about this one. So, we're waiting on these ones. There we go. So, all right, another rich, a platinum rich planet. So we will just have access to those now. Um, so mission report, success. Anhor has been steered away from civil war. Awesome. I like that. And false prophets, success. The po you pocket a slice of credits raised in this week's extra net funding telethon. No missions currently available. Awesome. Got a bunch of money from that though which is always good. And the dossiers, that would just give us a lot of background information on everybody in our squad. I may look at that at some point just to show you guys, either in this playthrough or the legendary playthrough. But I don't usually look at it. I like to discover the information more organically through gameplay, even though looking at that does give a lot more information. It's... um. I like getting what you get organically a little bit more just because I find that it mimics the average player of these games a little bit better. That's kind of what I'm trying to go for is to be the average player. Sorry, I just wanted to change something to make my editing process a little simpler. Ultimately, why I don't just use my Elgato game capture software to record everything. One, it, does, it wouldn't record the, the face cam for me. It can stream it on Mac, but it can't record it. So making sure that I have something recording my face always is kind of a big deal for me. But it likes to cut out my... Um, my dialogue, my voiceover, sometimes as well, and it'll just kind of get stuck. Just a little annoying. Um, before we go down to Tachanka, I am going to quickly just do a little bit of scanning of the planets in the area, simplify life a little bit, so I'll bring you back when we're about to go down to Tachanka. All right, looks like we have scanned everything we can, everybody. So we are going down to Tachanka. And for this, I'm going to bring Grunt and Morden regardless. Um, we're mostly going to just be talking to the clan leader. Um, that's going to be the main focus of the rest of this episode then next time we'll be able to dive into both of their loyalties with ease so we have morden and we have grunt i may make changes when we start their specific loyalty missions i may i don't know yet um nothing let's get his berserker up so Pure blood, 50% health, 15% damage, 55% health regeneration, still 50% health, weapon damage up, and 40 points per second. I'm going to go with more damage for him. 
And then I'm going to give him his concussive shot a boost. That looks good to me. Locust, hand cannon, grunt. We'll do. Make sure. Want to make sure he has his claymore. Whole point of having that is for him. And then. Got that. Sweet. That looks good to me. I probably should have actually done some more research before coming down. I may do that between episodes just to make sure we have all of the various damages up as high as we can right now. So this could be some familiar faces for us. What did I tell you? Stop right there, alien. Your shepherd of the Normandy. Yes, I uh, why did you do that? Is it just me or do the other Krogan not like me? Oh, there's some concern about me bringing in a non-Krogan. I had to talk to the chief. It's not a deal. Okay. Wait, so they don't even want me here? Who cares what they want? I want you. That's all that matters. Oh boy. I don't know if I can do this, Char. Hey now. My blue rose of Ilium always stands strong to reach toward the sun. Okay, I'll manage. Just no more poetry. <laughs> oh, I love them. They're adorable. So we have a blood pack recruiter. Let's talk to you. If you're looking for work, you're shouting down the wrong hole. The blood pack only recruits Krogan. Okay. We have the overcaptain here. The clan leader wants to speak with you. Keep your running pet on a short leash. Get him the right soon or put him down. The right? You know what's wrong with him. What he needs? There's nothing wrong with him. Just go speak to the clan leader. Okay. Interesting. Learning a little bit more. Someday we'll get off this rock and show those Korians who's boss. Alrighty. And. I have been unable to access local medical records. I suggest asking the local clan leader for assistance with Grun's problem. All right. We're talking to the clan leader. And it'll be a nice surprise who that is. Where's that? There it is. This is the land of Kredok, Shiagar, and Viol. This chunk of rock is barely worth standing on. Never thought I'd miss the tank. <laughs> oh, grunt. The Deus Guard. Oh, you must wait till the clan leader summons you. He is... in talk. You know what tradition demands. Clan Erdnot must respond. Your reforms will not go unopposed. You risk appearing weak at a critical time, Shepard. Good enough? Hey, Rex. Mm -hmm. Oh, I missed you. <laughs> Out of my way. Shepard. My friend. You look well for dead, Shepard. Should have known the boy couldn't hold you. It's been a long time. Looks like helping me destroy Saren and the Geth has worked out for you. Glad we didn't have to kill each other on Vermeer. <laughs> You made the rise of Erd not possible. Vermeer was a turning point for the Krogan, though not everyone was happy about it. Destroying Saren's genophage cure freed us from his manipulation. I used that to spur the clans to unify under Erd not. You abandoned many traditions to get your way. Dangerous. Hmm. Speak when spoken to, Uvenk. 
I'll drag your clan to glory whether it likes it or not. <laughs> I love Rex. Oh, Shepard. What brings you here? How's the Normandy? Uh, it was blown up. Destroyed in a collector surprise attack. I ended up spaced. Well, you look good. Ah, the benefits of a redundant nervous system. Mm. Yeah, humans don't have that. Oh, it must have been painful then. But you're standing here, and you've got a strong new ship. Mm -hmm. Taking back to the old days. Us against the unknown, killing it with big guns. Good times. All right. Tell me about your work. Sounds like you've got big changes ahead for the Krogan. We are making a neutral ground where all clans are welcome. Fertile females can be shared among clans. We will strengthen the race as a whole. Okay. If you threaten everything that makes us strong. It will not last. Maybe. Until then, you're lucky to be a part of it. All right. How do you keep control? How do you maintain security with so many different clans in one place? Any clan willing to send in hostages can come in. No fighting inside the camp. Each clan punishes its own criminals. We stop conflicts before anyone dies. Then we present a simple choice. Pay a fine and deal with your problems, or your clan is no longer welcome. Okay, that seems very reasonable. That doesn't sound very harsh by Krogan standards. Allies from other clans like what I'm doing. They help deal with skeptics. Many are eager for an outlet. Every time I've declared a clan unwelcome, my allies have destroyed them. Word gets around. Okay. Um. Tell me about the sharing of females. What do the women of Clan Erd not think about this plan? It was our female clan leader's idea. The neutral area is safe, and it encourages more female clans to ally with us. Hmm. Attacks on Erdnot now endanger the females of all clans. Even clans that want to see me dead will defend Clan Erdnot. That is, frankly, a really smart move. Your women have their own clan structure? Nothing is more valuable than a fertile female. We know it. They know it. They isolate themselves for their own protection. Mm -hmm. We work together to set up breeding alliances. I can hardly do anything without clan leader Yuta's approval. <laughs> that makes sense. Alright, I'm not going to say why bother with weak clans, because every Krogan life is important right now. I hope that works well for your people. But back to the reason I'm here. We don't often allow aliens to do business on Tuchunka, but you're an exception. All right. Tell me about the Solarian and the Blood Pack. I'm looking for a Solarian. He was captured by the Blood Pack and brought here. My scout commander can direct you. He's probably near the perimeter running target practice. Don't take too much of his time. I need a constant watch on the other clans. All right. What's wrong with Grunt? I have a Krogan on my crew. He has some kind of sickness and needs treatment. Where are you from, whelp? Was your clan destroyed before you could learn what is expected of you? I have no clan. I was tank bred by Warlord Okir. My line distilled from Kredok, Moro, Shiager. You recite warlords, but you are the offspring of a syringe. I am pure Krogan. You should be in awe. Okir is a very old name. A very hated name. He is dead. Of course. You're with Shepard. How could he be alive? Does it change anything? Does that name mean anything to you, Rex? A vicious warlord responsible for many deaths. Who apparently toyed with genetics. A clone undertaking the right. You are considering it? Tank bred allowed status as an adult? This is too far. There's nothing wrong with him. He's becoming a full adult. Okay. Puberty ritual, common among species with hormone-driven reproductive urges. <laughs> I don't care what aliens call it. Krogan <laughs> undergo the rite of passage. Too far, Rex. Your clan may rule, but this thing is not Krogan. 
idiot. So, Grunt, do you wish to stand with Erdnot? All right. Um, you'll allow a clone? You'll let a tank bred Krogan join Clan Erdnot? Only because he's with you. After all, you and I killed thousands like him. Not quite as big, but many. Mm -hmm. Clan Erdnot is strong, and the others will do as I say. They see the benefit of my vision. Okay. What is involved? What does the rite of passage require? Not for me to say, Shepard. The shaman will discuss that. All right. What if he doesn't? What happens if he doesn't do this rite of passage? If he was left here, he would be killed. The clanless are not respected. A tank bred, probably more so. Mm. His disposition is what it is, right or no. That's just him being a Krogan. Okir didn't tell you that in the tank. Did he, boy? No. I would definitely say that it's Grunt's call. This is his choice. It is in my blood. It is what I am for. Good boy. Speak with the shaman. He's over on the second level. Give him a good show and he'll set you on the path. All right. You too, Shepard. How many times have you stepped in a mess for your crew? Hmm? All the time. That's the kind of leader I am. I need to go. We'll go over this another time. Watch yourself, Shepard. Tuchonka isn't safe and homey like Pharaohs and Ilos. <laughs> oh boy, Pharos and Ilos. Well, I am going to very quickly just get us up to where the shaman is. That crap rocks your brain. You should be out hunting. Or fixing something if you can't hunt. It was a special vid on the Citadel. Oh boy, is it gonna be more about fish? In the Oh no, it's about the statue. All right, so there's our shaman. You don't have a place to try. Oh boy. Let's uh, yeah, let's talk to the Nakmore ambassador first. Turn back, human. I may be an ambassador among my people, but that doesn't mean I have to speak to the likes of you. Don't think that carrying this wealth of a croaker makes you worth my time. Leave now before my guards decide to reject you. That would be a mistake. You seem like a well-traveled Krogan ambassador. I am. Then you must know who I am. And you have to be aware that bad things happen to those who oppose me. Stand down, men. I'm starting to like this human. <laughs> I am the ambassador to Ordnok from Clan Nakhor. We're a small clan based in a cratic waste. How does your clan survive? If Nakhor is a small clan, how do you keep the more powerful clans from destroying you? We are the clan of the great warlord Nakmore Kral, who faced down platoons of Turians and won. Most clans lend us the respect our ancestor is due. Okay. What does your clan want here? What business does Clan Nakmore have with the Erdnot? Clan leader Rex requested that I come. He and Clan Nakmore have been in talks about a more permanent alliance. With our help, Erdnot could rally others behind its banner and truly unite Tuchanka, and we would gain the chance to fight in larger battles with greater plunder. Okay. Yeah, why be an ambassador? I thought all Krogan want to be warriors. What makes a Krogan become an ambassador? Huh. You don't know as much as you think, human. A Krogan diplomat has to represent the strength of his people, or his clan appears ripe for conquest. I slaughtered my way to the top of my clan, human. I speak with the authority of a warrior. All right. I should go. I'm sure you are needed elsewhere. All right. So that will leave us to talk with the shaman next time. But thank you so much for watching, everybody. Be sure to hit the subscribe button so you always know when I have new videos coming out. And follow the links in the description to the Facebook page and Discord server to join the conversation. But until next time, everybody, this is your Game Professor, signing off. I'll see you then.